Where's Scott? Your erstwhile fiance? I haven't seen him. He's late. For what? Another seduction attempt right here in the office? Ryan, this is serious. I'm about to be deported. Still haven't found yourself a sucker? I mean, husband? Number one, any man would be lucky to have me. To have you or marry you? Number two, we're still exploring other options. All right, the legal kind. Any luck? No, we, um... We'll know after the meeting with Scott's uncle's attorneys. We're supposed to have a meeting, like, in five minutes. I hope it goes well. It makes a lot more sense than a quickie wedding with Scott. Well, it might still happen. It'll be so much easier than dealing with this immigration stuff. Speaking of immigrate... There you are. I was about to call your car. Oh, Ryan said you weren't in yet. I've been here all day. Did you bring the paperwork? Yeah, I got it right here. What paperwork? Um, term paper I wrote, a transcript, and a letter from one of my professors. Term paper? Three pages? Oh, I believe in being brief. Noblesse oblige in the 90s by Princess Julian Andrashi. The only noblesse you're obliged to is yourself. Is Mr. Shire here? Yeah. He's waiting in Liza's office, okay? He figured to be a little bit more, uh, private. Okay. So, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I, I just hope he knows what he's doing. Julian, Barry is the best, okay? Think I let just anyone handle this, huh? <clears throat> sweet God. So, what's happening? We were just discussing Julian's little problem with immigration and how we can figure out a way to keep her here in the good old U.S. of A. Maybe I can help. How? Oh. I can speak up for Jillian at the hearing. You? Well, yeah. Why? Is Charles Manson busy? <clears throat> She's only trying to help, okay? Yeah. Of course she is. Mr. Shire's waiting. He doesn't have a lot of time. Yeah, I hope he doesn't charge by the hour. He's on retainer, remember? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Thank God Jillian gave up on trying to corral Scott into premature nuptials. I mean, talk about ball and chain. Actually, she hasn't ruled that out. She hasn't? And we all know we have to thank for that. Look, Ryan, I know you're upset at me for tipping off the people at immigration. I just wish you thought this through before you went off half cock, Kelsey. I was thinking. I was thinking of Scott. Yeah, getting Jillian booted out of the country is kind of an extreme solution to your little problem. It's not a little problem. Scott does not deserve to be trapped by that Generation X answer to the Gabor. She doesn't deserve to be deported. Well, she's not going to now anyway. How do you know? She's got the entire Chandler Dream Team behind her. They'll find a way out of this. I'm not so sure about that. What, are you an expert on immigration law now? I know a little bit about it now, yes. How? Because I made some phone calls, Kelsey. All right? From what I can figure, they've got a very good case against her. Good enough to get her booted out of here. Well, she's got moxie. She'll get out of this. She'll get out of it, all right, but not the way you want her to. It's not going to be long before she's got Scott on a very short, very wetted leash. So what have you found out? Can they really deport me just because I skipped a few classes? Well, it would appear that you skipped more than just a few, Miss Andrashi. Not only that, you're here on a student visa, which requires you to attend classes full-time, and you only signed up for three courses and dropped another one. Yeah, but it's three very demanding courses. It's uh, economic, sociology... Worth what? Six or nine credits. You need to carry at least 12. That's impossible. I would never have the time to do that. Why not? Because I have to take care of my grandmother. Is she ill? No, not not ill, just I'm very fragile and I'm all she has in this world to take care of her. Well, I don't think that's going to fly with the immigration department. Uh, what are some of her other options? 
Well, she could always go back to Hungary and apply for a green card. Then if you could get a sponsor to guarantee employment. As what? Edmund. What about Edmund? What about Edmund? You could be a nanny, taking care of his kids. Scott, I, I don't like children. I don't like to wash bottles. I don't want to change diapers. Well, the law was changed in 1990 to benefit certain aliens. Please, sir, you make me sound like a stepped off a spaceship. <laughs> Sorry, but in the eyes of the law, that's what you are. Do you have any scientific achievements? Can you invest at least a million dollars in a business that would employ at least ten Americans? Those are other choices. You can ask your father to invest in a company. Uh, you know, start your own. I can never do that. Why not? He's got the money. Why does this have to be so complicated? Why can't I just marry an American citizen and be done with it? You could, but I have to warn you, immigration is a real stickler about marital fraud. Fraud? If you were to marry an American citizen, you would have to provide what they call clear and convincing evidence that you didn't get married for the purpose of evading the immigration laws. If you can't, then you risk deportation. That wouldn't be a problem. You see, if... if if I were to marry someone as wonderful as Scott, then I wouldn't have to pretend that I'm in love with him. Jillian, stop. Okay, we already covered that angle. Scott, what if we don't have any other choice? Jillian, I'm not gonna marry you. Do you think I have a case? I'll be frank, Miss Andrashi. Please, it's Jillian. It's going to be an uphill battle, Jillian, but I'll do the best I can. That's all we can ask. Thanks a lot for your time. Don't thank me. Thank your uncle. He pays the bills. I'll be in touch. That wasn't very encouraging. Oh. What would be so bad if you had to go back to Hungary? I mean, your family's there. No, not anymore. Popeye's in South America with that horrid stepmother of mine. I could never live with her. We'd kill each other. What about the castle? I mean, you and your grandmother could start... It's ranked it out. It's a long-term lease. You know, to those nouveau rich. They always want to have parties and show off the house to well, the Well, I mean, what about your flat in Paris? All right. It's also rented out. I mean, what about grandmama? I don't know what this is going to do to her. She would never be able to handle this. Jillian, it's not a done deal yet. Okay, give Barry a chance to... Hold on. <clears throat> I gotta go. Uh, there's a tape of a sports interview that's missing, and Maisie needs it right away. Okay, um... Hey, chin up. I'll be back. determined to pin this immigration rap on Kelsey. How stupid do you think I am? On a scale of one to ten? Come on, I'm just kidding. I don't think you're stupid at all. It's well, just then that... you'll realize that it's only a matter of time until I can uh, prove that Kelsey did this and make her pay for it. Don't you think you can make better use of your time by finding a way to, to keep from being deported? Kelsey did this to keep me away from you. Excuse me? She sees me as a threat. She knows you would do anything to get me into bed. Don't flatter yourself. Besides, Kelsey isn't the slightest bit interested in... Of course. Why didn't I realize this a long time ago? What? It's not you she's interested. It's Scott she wants. It's been, it's been Scott all along. You best. 
pathetic, vindictive piece of trash. I ought to scratch your eyes out. What is she ranting on about? Perfectly that? well, what? Oh, I... Ladies, ladies, just, just take a deep breath here, okay? Chill a little bit. Why don't you just admit that you did this, Kelsey? Admit it. Okay, I admit it. And I'm not the least bit sorry. You deserve to have your royal rear end booted back to Budapest. You're not a student. You're a parasite. People bust their tails for an American degree, and you think that you can just coast on eyeliner and cleavage. Oh, who appointed you guardian of America's borders? Oh, well, immigration was very receptive, and I'm glad. I'm glad that I blew the whistle on you. I'd do it again in a minute. Yeah, never mind that I tried to save you. I went to jail because of your prostitution oh, thing. That was for kicks. <sighs> do you think that I even considered you a real friend? Well, you're not only lazy, you're brain dead. Now would be a good time to back off. You know what? You, you'd be in over your head at Pine Valley High. You couldn't hack the fifth grade. You'd be a poor excuse for a kindergarten. So what do you think of your little friend now? You believed her over me. You forced me to apologize to her. Who's going to apologize to me, Scott? We'll deal with this in a minute, Jillian. You, come with me now. Maybe you should call sanitation. Come uh, tell them to get Kelsey's charred remains. Quit while you're ahead. Let's say Scott's more than he looks, okay? And he bails before you make him look like a flounder. What's the worst that can happen? An adventure. Chapter three in your memoir, The Princess's Temporary Exile. Temporary? Yeah, your father, the Duke, or count whatever i mean he's gonna cross the right palms with the royal ducats and magically a visa's gonna appear huh a special visa just for party in the meantime you're gonna be shopping and, and catching up on the continental dish and i am gonna make a special trip to the castle just to make sure you don't get bored i'll lift the drawbridge i'll swim the moat it's filled with sharks my element Whatever you do, you can't marry Scott. Why can't I marry Scott? Why shackle yourself with Mr. Raw? Why do you care, Ryan? What difference could it possibly make to you? Why, why did you call immigration for me? What, what personal stake is in this for you? The environment. Excuse me? I gotta look out for the natural resources. Giant redwoods, spotted owls, baby whales ship a woman like you back to the old country and conservationists would yawn nobody is yawning I don't want to go I, I I feel incredibly at home here kind of grows on you huh? Pine Valley sort of attached to it myself Especially to some of the people. I'd miss you if you went away. Would you miss me if I married Scott? Is finding out worth the aggravation? I think I'd enjoy being married. It's one of the things I've never tried before. There's a reason to get married. Mm. Lovely ring, beautiful dress. Champagne. Crystal goblets, caviar. What do you do when the big day's over? I'll decorate the house. Oh. The PVU banners, cinder block shelves. No, I think Scott and I can do better than that. Fine. The works, the mansion, Persian rugs, spiral staircases, right? What do you do when you're fully decorated? Entertain. Oh. The debating club, soccer team. Scott and I will be happy. Because you're obviously on fire for the boy. What do you do when you finish opening your wedding gifts? What's your life going to be like then? Lonely days while he's at school. Lonelier nights when he's home. Oh, you are so wrong. 
Well, you can fill your time with pedicures, right? I mean, but how many days a week can you grow? Shopping, yeah, but that's gonna get old. Pretty soon, you're gonna be living for tawdry talk shows. You don't know me, Ryan. I'm not saying you're gonna be a sofa spot. I'd say more an exotic love chair truffle. Pretty soon, you'll be nibbling eclairs, lacing your tea with aged brandy. 20 pounds down the road, you'll start chanting a mantra. Send a handsome stranger into my life. Somebody who makes me feel alive. Please, God, send him soon. Because the thing is... Problem solved. It is? Yeah. We're getting married. Married? Yeah. Good work. Yes. That's great. You in love today. Yeah. <laughs> tonight that's if you want to i say forget it i say we go for it scott don't skits out on me i will see you after the honeymoon don't marry the hoochie princess just to slam me give it up kelsey okay i messed up i turned jillian into immigration that makes me a bottom feeder but she is a barracuda all she wants from marriage is a green card and the chandler monogram on her hand towels. i love scott with all my heart your heart can't fill a thimble. Look, you got her into this mess, and I'm gonna get her out of it. It's simple as that. In the words of the immortal Tina Turner, what's love got to do with it? My head is spinning. You're gonna need to pick up a few things on the way to the preacher. All we need is each other. Jillian, this isn't life on the open range. You can't just rope a steer, brand him, and ride him back to the homestead. You're gonna need blood tests. You're gonna need marriage license. You're gonna have to get a few things. Bourgeois details, petite. Aristocracy has its privileges. We'll uh, we'll get on a jet and then we'll fly over to Monaco and I'll be your lawful wedded wife. The sunrise. Leaving the country uh, is not a good idea. Uncle Sam's open door policy will slam shut in your face. Well, we'll figure something out yeah. on our own. Getting married over my dead body. Goody. Extra incentive. Excuse me. What are we all doing in my private office? Making wedding plans. Julian and I are eloping. Do tell. Kelsey, get up off the floor before someone trips on you and sues the station. Scott, what is this about you being married? Well, there's no time to explain. No, uh, marry in haste, repent in divorce court. This really is none of your concern. How far along are you? Because you're not showing. You know, you should get the test results before you sign the marriage license. I'm not pregnant. Oh, that's, that's one trick that she missed. Oh, are we talking entrapment here? The web's baited. The black widow's in pounce mode. We are out of here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. You are on company time, you Not if I quit. Don't make this your day for doing things you'll regret, Ryan. Kelsey, queen of absolutely nothing. Please go away. I would like to talk to my favorite. And abandon my fiancé? Pardon me. Oh, God. It's okay. It won't take long. Chill, princess. The Chandler jet won't take off until you file joint flight plans. Okay, don't be too long. Anybody trying to talk Scott out of marriage is wasting their time. We were destined to be together. <clears throat> Dear Drab, dull Kelsey, no hard feeling Cherie. I won, you lost, no contest. I wasn't playing. You know, you, you turned the tide on my side. You made Scott realize what little sneak you are. You blew your chances, baby, big time. Knock it off, princess. Oh, and since when do I take orders from a studio lackey? What a pair you two make, faking this grand passion to make Scott jealous. But you couldn't pull it off. You don't have the smarts or the savvy or the class to attract dirt, let alone a man like Scott. Shut your mouth, you little boy. Don't touch me. Get off me. Back off, Kelsey. Back off. Maybe you should wait outside, huh? Get a hold of yourself. She scratched me. I'll have to get tested for rabies. Just put a sock in it, okay, princess? And stop ragging on Kelsey or I'm gonna finish what she started. How can you defend her after what she's done to me? Oh, you're not exactly what I would call defenseless. 
You know, I should have known you'd take her side. Kelsey couldn't plot her way out of a brown paper bag. You probably held the phone while she was dialing immigration. You both deserve to drown in dating pool hell. What do you have to smile about? How do you say the worm is turned in Hungarian? I don't have a clue. Well, that's too bad. Because Scott is in talking with his father right now. And after their little father-son chat, we'll see who hears wedding bells. And you, Lord of the Dance, thought you were hot over Ms. Gillian. The spoiled old brat's more trouble than she's worth. Oh, I see. So this is you playing the defeated loser. Gillian marries Scott, and you don't even stop her? What Gillian does is her business, because I am not the marrying kind. Hmm. Darling, where's my father-in-law? I want to give him a big, fat kiss. Don't count your father-in-laws before they're hatched. He had to get back to the hospital. Oh, no. I was, I was hoping that he could help us convince your Uncle Adam to loan us his jet. Well, we're not going to take off anytime soon. We're not? Why, why not? Because I promised my dad we'd wait a few weeks until we got married. So we're not getting married? I didn't say that. But, Scott, I thought you wanted to help me. I do. But we're back where we started. I'm going to get deported. No, look, I only promised my dad we'd wait a few weeks. Why? He wants us to get to know each other better. You know, invite us over, do the family get-together thing. But before the hearing, no matter what, we'll get married as planned. All right? Yeah, I didn't think you'd let me down. Thanks. Hey, so you're not too disappointed? No. No? Okay. Good things come to those who wait. My father is a very wise man, and I can't wait to get in, to know him a little bit better. I just hope he'll like me. Do you think he'll mind if I call him Dad, or do you think he'd prefer Papa? Well, why don't you ask him yourself? If you invite us over for tea tomorrow afternoon? Good, okay. I better go home and, and, and decide on some clothes. Do you think I should go for Audrey Hepburn in, in Roman Holiday or Kim Novak in Vertigo? You know, I don't think anyone would ever think you're afraid of heights or anything else. So come on, I'll take you home. Okay. If you say I told you so, so help me, I'll crown you. Do you have to say crown? Say good night, Mary Ellen. Good night. Parting gift? Julian left him. She has good taste. Or a, what was it, Black Widow Spider? <laughs> yeah, I guess. And clothes, and men. Chandler? Oh, I know that you have a difference of opinion, but he still is a nice young man. Oh, right. Your mm. family. Oh, only by marriage. A fleeting state. It was an objective observation. Whatever. You, you disagree with me? Please, no. I'm a, a fan of free speech, it's, no matter how many times it's gotten me into hot water. Scott's a Boy Scout. Oh, that's an, an insult, an indictment? You know what I mean. Yeah, he, he's loyal. I mean, God knows this whole marriage thing is, is proof of that. He's trustworthy, he's helpful, he's a good guy, he's a loser. Hey, you said it, not me. Oh, he's a loser. You're one of those guys that think nice guys finish last. Is that it? Let's just say I've been circling the block while Scotty's still trying to figure out how to shift that a neutral. <sighs> I think that you would be surprised how much life experience Scott has been able to cram in a short period of time. We've all got our baggage. Yeah, but it's a little annoying to see that Scott can carry his with very little effort. Chandler Money buys a lot of porters. I don't think this has anything to do with money. 
Oh, I, I keep forgetting, right? Of course, money's such a burden to those who have it. Scott's secret is his dad. His dad? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stuart is one of the best people to walk the planet. Well, then he's doubly lucky. What was your father like? Cross between Abe Lincoln, Spencer Tracy, and Bill Cosby. Big shoes to fill. Hey, no pressure there. No, everything I did was golden. My father loved me that way, unconditionally. You don't get that often in life. One per customer. Mm -hmm. Treasure the memories and fill the photo albums. <laughs> oh. Lavery. Yeah, just hold on a sec. This could take a little bit of time. You want me to call him back? No, or? no, 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 no. I'm just gonna go gargle with some crushed glass and eat a box of carpet tacks and... <laughs> You know, get back to my old self, divorce. It's made me a little human. Ben, yeah, the spots are ready. You got that cash cleared up? Great. My kind of advertiser. Quick and decisive. <laughs>